The position of a particle moving along a number line is given by s of t is equal to 2 thirds t to the third minus 6t squared plus 10t, for t is greater than or equal to 0, where t is time in seconds. The particle moves both left and right in the first six seconds. What is the total distance traveled by the particle for 0 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to 6? So let's just remind ourselves what they mean by total distance. If I were to say start there, and if I were to move three units to the right, and then I were to move four units to the left, and then four units to the left, and I'll say negative four to show that I'm moving to the left, then my total distance right over here is, the total distance right over here is seven. Three to the right and four to the left. Even though my position right over here is going to be negative one, so my position right over here is negative one, or you could say my net, my net distance, or you could say my displacement is negative one. I'm one to the left of where I started. The total distance is seven. So now that we've clarified that, I encourage you to now pause this video and try to answer the question, what is the total distance traveled by the particle in these first six seconds? So we, the, the easiest way I can think of addressing this is to think about, well, when is this thing moving to the right and when is it moving to the left? And it's going to be moving to the right when the velocity is positive and it's going to be moving to the left when the velocity is negative. So this really boils down to thinking about when is the velocity positive or negative? And to think about that, let's actually graph the velocity function or make a rough sketch of it. So this is the position function. The velocity function is going to be the derivative of the position function with respect to time. So derivative of 2 thirds t to the third is going to be 2t squared. And then we have minus 12t plus 10. And so let's just try to graph this. Let's just try to graph this. So it's going to be an upward opening parabola. This is clearly a quadratic. And the coefficient on the second degree term, on the t squared term, is a positive number. So it's going to be an upward opening parabola. It's going to look something like this. And we're assuming that it switches directions. So it's going to be positive some of the time and negative for some of the time. So it should intersect the t, it should intersect the t axis where it's negative. The function is going to be negative in that interval, and it's going to be positive outside of that interval. So the easiest thing I can think of doing is let's try to find what the zeros are, and then we could draw this upward opening parabola. So to find its zeros, let's just set this thing equal to zero. So we get 2t squared minus 12t plus 10 is equal to zero. Divide both sides by two, just to get rid of this two, make this leading coefficient to one. We get t squared minus 6t plus five is equal to zero. That made it a lot easier to factor. This can be factored into t minus one times t minus five. Negative one times negative five is five. Negative one plus negative five is negative six. This is equal to zero. So this left-hand side of the, expre of the equation is going to be equal to zero if either one of these things is equal to zero. If you take the product of two things equaling to zero, well, you get zero if either one of them is zero. So either t is equal to one or t is equal to five. So now let's graph it. So if I, let's draw our axes. So that's my, I could say that's my velocity axis. And let me draw the, we only care for positive values of time. So let's draw it something like this. Positive time. And let's see, let's take that one, two, three, four, five. We can keep going. So this is t equals one. This is t is equal to five. This is our t axis. And let's graph it. So it's going to be an upward opening parabola. It's going to intersect both of these points. And so its vertex is going to be when t is equal to three, right in between those points. So it's going to look something like this. It's going to look something like this. That's the only way to make an upward opening parabola that intersects the t-axis at both of these points, at both of those points. So it'll go like that, and it'll go like this. It'll intersect. When t equals zero, we actually can figure out when t equals zero, our velocity is 10. So this, the v-intercept, we could say, is 10 right over here. So that's what it looks like. So we see that the velocity is positive. We see that the velocity is positive for time between zero and one. And it's also positive for time is greater than five seconds, and we see that our velocity is negative, or that we're moving to the left. We're moving to the left between one and five seconds. The velocity is below the t-axis right over here. It is a negative. So let's just think about what our position is at each of these points, at time zero, at time one, at time five, and what we care about time six, and time six, 
And then think about how, what the distance it would have had to travel between those times. So let's think about it. So let's make a little table here. Let's make a, little, make a little table. So this is time, and this is our position at that time. So we care about time 0, time 1, time 5 seconds, and time 6 seconds. So at 0 seconds, we know that our position is 0. S of 0 is a 0. At 1 second, this is going to be 2 thirds minus 6 plus 10. So it's going to be 4 and 2 thirds. So I'll write down 4 and 2 2 thirds. At 5 seconds, let's see, it's 2 thirds times, I'm going to have to write this one down. So this is going to be 2 thirds times 125. That's the same thing as 250 over 3. That's the same thing as 250 over 3, which is the same thing. Let's see, 250 over 3, that's the same. 83 times 3 is 249. So this is, two four, this is 83 and 1 third. So this is 83 and 1 third. That's this first term. Minus 6 times minus 6 times 25. Minus 6 times 25. So that's going to be minus 150. Minus 150 plus 10 times 5. So plus 50. So this is going to simplify minus 150 plus 50. That's going to be minus 100. Minus 100. 83 and 1 third minus 100, that's going to be negative 16 and 2 thirds. So negative 16 and 2 thirds is its position after 5 seconds. And then at the 6, at six seconds, it's going to be 2 thirds times 6 to the third. I have to write this one down. 2 thirds times 6 to the third. 2 thirds times 6 to the third minus 6 times 6 squared. Well, that's just going to be, that's going to be, that's going to be minus 6 to the third again, 6 times 6 squared, plus 60. And let's see, how can we simplify this right over here? Well, we could this part right over here, we can rewrite as, we could factor out a 6 to the third. This is 6 to the third times 2 thirds minus 1 plus 60. Scroll down a little bit, get some more space. So this is going to be 6 to the third times negative 1 third plus 60. And let's see, this is 6. Let's write it this way. This is going to be 6 squared times 6 times negative 1 third plus 60. This right over here is negative 2. So it's negative 2 times 36. This is negative 72 plus 60. So this is going to be negative 12. So it's, this is going to be negative 12 right over there. So now we just think, how far did it travel? Well, it starts traveling to the right. It's going to travel to the right 4 and 2 thirds. So let's write this down. So we're going to have 4 and 2 thirds. And then it's going to travel to the left. Let's see, to go from 4 and 2 thirds to negative 16 and 2 thirds, that means you traveled 4 and 2 thirds again. You traveled 4 and 2 thirds to the left. And then you travel another 16 and 2 thirds to the left. Another 16 and 2 thirds to the left. Just a reminder, we're 4 and 2 thirds to the right now. We have to go 4 and 2 thirds to the left to get it back to the origin. And then we have to go 16 and 2 thirds again to the left. So that's why this move from here to here is going to be 4 and 2 thirds to the left, followed by 16 and 2 thirds to the left. Another way to think about it, the difference between these two points is, is what? It's going to be 4 and 2 thirds plus 16 and 2 thirds. If you do 4 and 2 thirds minus negative 16 and 2 thirds, you're going to have, that's the same thing as 4 and 2 thirds plus 16 and 2 thirds. And then, and then to go from negative 16 and 2 thirds, to negative 12, that means you went another 4 and 2 thirds now to the right. So now this is 4 and 2 thirds. Now you're moving 4 and 2 thirds to the right. And so we just have to add up all of these. We just have to add up all of these values. So what is this going to be? So this is going to be 2 thirds times 4, which is, so the this part of it right over here, the fraction part of it, 2 thirds times 4 is 8 over 3. And let's see, 4 plus 4 plus 16 plus 4 is 28. So 28 and 8 thirds, that's a very strange way to write it because 8 thirds is the same thing as, 8 thirds is the same thing as 2 and 2 thirds. So 28 plus 2 and 2 thirds is 30. 
and 2 thirds. So the total dif distance traveled over those six seconds is 30 and 2, 30 and 2 thirds units.